But not all technological advances in firefighting have to be this expensive or high tech. Since 1987, U.S. firefighters have been using a simple, cheap weapon, which can prevent both flashovers and backdraft. It's a radical technique that appears to be contrary to common sense. These North Carolina firefighters have been called to a domestic fire. It's a wooden house, and the fire's building rapidly. As the hoses are laid out, two of the crew will move a large fan from the emergency truck and move it into position in front of the door. Well, for years, as instructors, we've taught that we don't add air or oxygen into a burning structure. But what we're doing with positive pressure ventilation, we're supplying enough air and enough oxygen in there to overcome that. So it does. It goes against everything that even instructors for years have taught. Uh, to add air, but it works. When we roll up on the fire scene, we want to know where the fire is, we want to know the ventilation opening, we want to know the ventilation exit port. And once everything's in place, we're going to ventilate the building, crank the blower up, and take our hose lines in and uh, put the fire out. The fans have specially designed blades which force hundreds of cubic feet of air in through the door, pushing the heat, the flames and the smoke back as it rushes through the room. Within seconds, the firefighters are able to enter the inferno and work in a pocket of cool, clean air. Positive pressure requires quite a bit of training. It's not something that we can just buy and put on the truck and say, we watched a video and now let's go use it. There is a lot of training into it. We have to remember that it is a ventilation tool, so we need to be using it for ventilation. Uh, one of the things that's happened in the United States is that people have seen videos and read a couple of articles and go to use it. And if positive pressure ventilation turns out wrong, it's because generally they used it wrong. Here, the crew failed to make an escape route at the rear of the building for the smoke and flames. When they start the fan, it simply blows the burning smoke straight back into their faces. Positive pressure ventilation has already uh, saved a lot of lives, not only in the fire service, but also uh, the victims and the people that we're going out there to protect. There's a lot of countries not using positive pressure ventilation, but it is the wave of the future. And I think it, it's like in the United States. It just took some people, it took effort to prove that positive pressure ventilation works. Uh, once they try it, and that's the biggest thing there, once they try it, they're going to like positive pressure ventilation and start using it. Flashover is something that, that happens quite frequently uh, because of the houses are... The new houses today, the new construction, the type of material that we're using, the windows, the doors, the insulation. So today's firefighting is much more dangerous because of the fact that flashover and backdraft, uh, you're going to see a lot more of that in the future. And positive pressure ventilation is one way of keeping that flashover from happening, especially on your firefighters when they make that entry. In the U.S., most fire engines now carry fans to help prevent flashovers and save lives.